So, good afternoon YouTube. Uh, well, it's been a couple of days now since I've managed to do this. Um, since the last video you've seen, which was actually only put on today, so you'll be seeing this one shortly after. I had trouble with the internet, just not working at the moment, so no broadband, so I've had to resort to pay as you go, so uh, it's about a pound, 70 pesos, which is about a pound. It's supposed to last a week, but it's only a couple of gigs. I'm not quite sure, is it two gigabytes or one gigabyte? I'm not sure. So how long I'll be able to put these videos up, but we should be getting it back by, the broadband up by tomorrow, hopefully, at the latest. So, let me just um, update you, as I said I would, update you on what went wrong in Manila. So, this is, just so you can see it, here's the outside of our shop. Okay, so people come here. I'll show you all this at another time. Just wanted to give you updates. A little update on how I struggled to get back into the country this time. So I'll just sit down here. Basically what happened. Um, when you when you come into the Philippines, I've told you all this before, you need what's called, um, used to be called the, the One Stop Health Pass. They, they stop that, which which I said before, you, it's very complicated, I know. Basically you need it to be um, tested 24 hours before you fly. That's no longer the case, as I said before. Now you just need this document really, which is which, is, which results in you getting a QR code that proves how many times you've been vaccinated and the dates and everything on there. That's basically it. I've done this weeks ago, which is fine. I went onto the website, the Philippine website, the Philippine government website and did this. Um, and that was done. Um, so yeah, done that. Uh, no problems. I get into Manila. When I, I say when I left Heathrow, they wanted to know about it. When I got to China, they wanted to know about it. No trouble. Got into Philippines. I'm not trouble with the dogs. <laughs> when I got into the Philippines, they wouldn't let me in. They said it was out of date, which is rubbish. It can't be out of date. You've been, you've been, you've been um, vaccinated, you've been vaccinated really, so, and you can prove that, so it can't possibly be out of date. But they weren't having it. Um, the joke of it was, um, they said, because it's not up to date, it needed to be redone. I said, I can't do it. They, they wanted me to basically sit down and, and, and upload another one or download another one. I said, I can't do that. I haven't got the, the dates and the details of when I've been vaccinated, the four times the different vaccinations um, that I've had. I haven't got the dates in my head. I said, they're, in my, they're on my tablet, which is in my luggage, which is on the luggage carousel across there, which I can't get to because they won't let me in. So they said, well, it's not up to date, so you can't come in. So eventually, I screamed and shouted at them a bit. I was scared of two women. I must have scared them a little bit. Anyway, they, they, they decided to help me. Um, and they basically said, they'll do it for me. So they went on their system, asked me my name, full name and address, the address where I live here, no problem. And I gave them the, um, they said, can we have the dates of the vaccine? I said, if I'd known that, I could have done it myself. I said, I don't know. I said, yeah, but do you know roughly? I said, well, I know the one was in December 2020 or whatever it was. And, and the last one, I don't know, a couple of months ago, basically, they said, oh, it took them like two minutes. I said, okay, that's just done now, you can go through. So theirs had no real date, no proof of the dates, nothing. But because they'd done it, apparently I could go through then. So like, they weren't going to let me in because of this. And I started to kick off. Um, you know, you travel, you travel basically two to three days on buses and planes and different airports and goodness what. And then they, the last call your destination, they don't want to let you in. I mean, it's a bit more than just frustrating, isn't it? But anyway, I got in eventually. Um, everything's okay. Um, like I said, a bit of a cold, I told you on the last video. Slowly getting better now. Um, coughing at nights, but in the daytime, not, not too bad at all. Um, trying to get back into the swing of things, like I say. Bear with me one second, I'll just turn that round. Like I say, there's the front of the shop. So I'll, 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 I'll show you more and more of that as, as my time here and then how I get on them. How we live our lives here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's it for now. Speak to you later. Bye for now.